This video is a quick introduction to filtering in Super CRM. So to get started, click on the Super CRM tile. When you come into your CRM for the first time, it will call in all of the records in your database. So I have 388 records that currently sit in my database. First thing I'm going to do to create a filter is click on the Create Filter button, and it brings up a pop-up where I can click to create a new filter. Now, there are a whole lot of different things that you can filter on from role, age, grade, gender, ethnicity, all down in this list here. I'm going to start off pretty um, basic and I'm going to select a particular season. So I have a form related to the 2021 season. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to scroll down and just simply click on that organisation form. And this happens to be my netball registration form. Now, by default, this I don't need to... Um, go and select that I want to um, have all gender options and all ethnicity options. Um, by default, the fact that I've selected 2021 and the form, all registrants on it will be selected. So I'm scroll to the bottom and going to save a filter. So a filter is like a report. You can have as many as you like. Always recommend to save them because they'll just um, sit here um, in the back end for you. I'm going to give it a name. It brings in a name by, um, by default, but I'm going to just overwrite that name and I'm going to click save. You can see it brings up a little default um, star. And what that means is each time I come back into my CRM, this will be default view that's shown. So click apply. It's reduced my records down to 13 and you'll see a pill appears up here in the left hand corner with my netball regos. So I've created my filter. Once I've got my filtered group, there are some different things that I can do. I could apply a tag if I've set up tags. I could click export and that would export my 13 records out as a CSV, as an Excel file for me to go and view, or I can contact. Clicking into contact, the different options are um, displayed here and we've got some more comprehensive help on them. Typically, it's going to be emailing them or sending a newsletter or possibly an invitation to register on another form or a link to update details. Um, create letter is just creating a snail mail template. So in this case, I'm going to send an email. So I filtered on my group and hit send email. It shows me the number of people that I'm going to be um, sending it to. I can type in my subject, shows who the email is coming from. I can CC myself so that I get a copy of what I'm sending and I can then type in the body of my email that I want to send. So that's one option. Another option is if I click on contact, I could send a newsletter. So if I click on a newsletter, I happen to have some newsletters that I've already got set up so I can go and send them a newsletter or I can go and create um, the newsletter and send out my newsletter to the people that I've filtered on. The other option, and this one is really neat, is you can send them an invitation to register. So what this means is I have another form that I have created through the online registrations area, and I want to send an invitation to these 13 people to register on it. So when I click on that, it then says, what form do you want them to register on? So in this case, I might want them to um, register on a coaching clinic that I've got coming up. When I hit send, it comes through to this area here, lets me enter a title. Once again, I can copy myself. It will automatically pull through their first name and it will automatically pull through a link um, to the form. Now, the neat thing about this is it sends them a magic link. When they click on the link, it opens up the coaching clinic form, pre-filled in with any of their known details because it knows some details as because I've already registered on a form. So this is using the magic link method of getting people back to re-register. I could then go and review and send and cancel it. So we have more comprehensive um, online help in relation to this, but that's a really handy way of inviting some people back to re-register. Another really neat feature is um, updating, sending people a link to update their details. So in this case, I've got my filtered group and I want to um, send them a link to update their details. So possibly when they completed the form, um, I may have introduced another question on the form or I may want to them to go and update some contact details 
And so by sending them this, it will send them a link to their existing record for them to update their details. So a couple more advanced filtering that you might want to do. If I'm going to click onto my filter. I might have a question on my form that is not one of my standard um, fields of things like gender and ethnicity and status and role. I might have an additional question that I want to filter on. So to do that, I select the form that I want to filter on. So in this case, I'm going to filter on my 2022 ABC Clare form. And I come down to this area here, advanced filter. So you can filter on, a, have as many advanced filters questions as you want to. So I, I click on advanced filter and I have a question on my form. Do you have any medical conditions? And I want it to display anyone who has um, indicated yes, they have medical conditions. So I hit set. Um, and this is where I could actually add another filter to it as well. But in this case, I'm just going to filter on if they have medical conditions. And I'm going to call it medical conditions. Hit save. Hit apply. And it's showing that eight people that have completed that form have indicated, yes, they do have medical conditions. I can actually go through and check that if I wanted to by clicking into someone's particular uh, profile. And in their profile, I would go and have a look at their registration. So I was filtering on my ABC player registration. And I can click the magnifying glass to come through and have a look at their record. And if I go into the medical conditions area, it said, do you have any medical conditions? And they answered yes. So that's confirming for me that this was my list of people that had medical conditions. And this might be an example if you want to hit contact and ask them to update their details because you may want to say in here, um, please click here to update your medical conditions on this form. So you can see how I can edit that to um, go and send some information. Um, when I go to create an email, just pointing out, you'll see my email signature comes up. I will just show you where that can be set. So I'm going to click in here. Back in the dashboard area, you can set up a, an email signature against your user details. So this is my user details. And when I come in here, there's an area here which says email signature Super CRM. So whatever I enter in here is the email signature that appears in Super CRM so that I don't have to type it each time I come in and go and send someone an email. Okay, back in the dashboard area, I'm just going to go into online registrations area. So this is what drives the CRM. Anyone that's completed any of these forms that sit within here appear as a record in the CRM. I'm just going to have a look at this is my ABC um, database. And when I click into here, um, this happens to be an organization that is using transfers because I can see people are sitting in what's called either a pending or an active state. So this is for the codes of um, rugby league and softball and rugby union. Um, when you come into here, you will click to approve your players and change them from a pending to an active state. So one thing that I might want to filter on, for example, is the status of um, any pending players. This is also particularly relevant for any of the regional bodies who might want to sort on any of their clubs players that are sitting in a pending state. So to do that, I'll go back into CRM. You'll see that it, I always will now land on my default because this is my default filter that I was set up. I'm going to click on filter, create a new filter. Always bringing up a season. If I didn't have a form under a season, it was just under no season, I would be selecting the NA option. But in this case, I'm filtering on my organization form and I want to filter on my status field. And these are the different statuses that I have. And in this case, I'm wanting to sort on my pending um, players, players that have not been approved. Once again, I'm going to save my filter, click save, and it brings through my filtered list. 
so I would then be able to um, communicate um, to know that these players are sitting in a pending state and that they need to be approved. So super quick recap, click here to create filters. You can create as many filters as you like. The filters are specific to your login. And if someone else from your organization has a login to Super CRM, they will have different filters or can have different filters to, that, to what you have. Um, there's lots of different options that you can filter on. Um, if you have tags set up against individuals, you can filter on tags. A registration date that someone registered, you can filter on that. And various questions. Um, this particularly relates to the vaccine pass question, which is very topical, um, of filtering whether someone is verified or not verified and that will display your list of people here. At any stage, if you don't want to filter anymore, you can simply delete it, and it will delete your filter. Please let the support team know if you have any advanced filtering questions that aren't answered by watching this video. Thank you.